Tell me about the growth that you went through from that shell of a guy that I talked about earlier, um, you know, in that video where you're like, what did you say in that video exactly? Because I mean, obviously you made it, so you know exactly what happened, what you stated. So can you talk about that and sort of like, yeah. the, like the storyline arc, you know, between then and now? For sure. Yeah. I think the video you're referring to was a video I talked about the separation with my wife. I think I titled it why my wife left me because I've always been a pretty good marketer. Mm. <laughs> so I knew that would get a lot of attention, you know, uh, and I actually took that video. I don't do this anymore. And maybe I ought to revisit that. But I took that video down because so many a-holes just misinterpreted what I was saying. And I just I didn't want to get in the bull crap of them trying to, you know, paint me as a beta or a cuck or all these terms, you know, people throw around. But, you know, admittedly, I was in that camp that you just said earlier of playing not to not to lose. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I was just trying to, like, grasp on to some semblance of my life before my wife left me. And frankly, at the time, uh, a lot of my universe revolved around her. You know, I didn't realize that until she left uh, and took my one year old son at the time. Um, oh, it was just the one child that you had at the just time. one at the time. Okay. Yeah, we have four now. Yeah. We have four now. But it was just one at the time. OK. Uh, and so for a long time, man, I really blamed her. I was like, how could she do this? Why was she disloyal? She didn't appreciate, you know, what I was doing and what I'm trying to grow my business for the family. And I remember I was driving down the road and I came to the conclusion. So we're knee deep in our separation that, holy shit, maybe, maybe this isn't like just her. <laughs> maybe there's like, maybe I have something to do with it. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I, I had just at that point written off the marriage thinking this thing was over. And at that point it was very cathartic for me because I went to work on myself. Um, I started to get into shape. I started dialing my finances. My business started growing. I started getting back into some spiritual elements of my life that I had let go. Um, I, I, I built new friendships. I hired a mentor. Like I was kicking ass and it was like flipping a switch on the wall. You know, she, she responded to that. She saw that. And, and I came to this conclusion that, you know, we can't control people, which is what I was trying to do. Like if she did this and she did that and I just need her to change, then my life would be great. And I moved from, hey, I'm not going to try to control people anymore. I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it. I'm going to do the best I can the way I see fit. And then I'm going to have faith that that's going to influence people in my life positively. Her, my kids, um, people that might be inspired by what we're doing here. And so I, I, I've I've. I've let go of the, the need to like change people and prove to people like what they should do. I'm just going to shine as a beacon to the best of my ability and let the chips fall where they may. Um, and that's proved to be instrumental, not only in my marriage, but in the business in the, in the movement as well. What's the, like, what was the catalyst that caused you guys to part ways at that time? Uh, you know, I don't think it was just one thing. I remember we got into a fight one evening about who knows what, I don't even remember. Uh, and uh, I said, I, I remember this. I vividly remember this. I said, I don't even want to be married to you anymore. Mm. And she said, I agree. I don't either. Mm. And the next morning, uh, I was supposed to go four hours north for some training in my business. And I got about an hour north. I'm like, man, what the hell are you doing? And I turned around and came home. And I was like, hey, look, like, yeah, obviously, that's, that's not what I believe. But then it was too little too late. Mm -hmm. Then she was gone. Um, I just think there was a lot of contention and animosity that had built up in our relationship. I spent some time overseas with the military. And when I got back, we had only been married for six months when I left. And when I got back, it was like trying to like date again, but we were married. And then I was trying to grow my financial planning practice. And I was frustrated because I, I didn't know how to do it. And I felt inadequate and I was overweight and out of shape. I was a loser, man. Mm. Uh, and I took all of that frustration out on the person whose fault or responsibility it wasn't my wife. It was my responsibility. And I didn't pin that on myself. I pinned it on her. And then I played these little manipulation games and made her feel like shit that, that it had something to do with her. Um, so, you know, that boiled over that evening and, uh, man, that was a dark time in my life it really was. Oh, yeah. it, it was, it was very obvious in that video. Like I, I don't have you know the copy of it because you took it down, but I vividly remember thinking to myself, "Wow, this guy's like hit the bottom." And, yeah, man. You know, is he yeah. going to keep digging down, or is he going to you know climb his way out of this one? 
Um, and it sounds like you did something with all that. Hey guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that short clip. If you did, consider supporting the creation of content by checking out my supplement line. Pinned in the top comment below of this video in the comments, there's a link to the unpluggedalpha.com forward slash shop. Uh, when you click through, you'll be able to land over here and the entire lineup is broken down by category that it performs best in, estrogen metabolism, fat burning, your foundational essentials for health, immune health, performance, and testosterone support. If you check out with coupon code ALPHA10, you'll get 10% off on your first order. There's also the option to use the subscribe and save model where regular shipments will be sent over to you on a regular basis, and that gives you a little bit of a discount, and your supplement facts are always broken down over here. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have an awesome day. And again, check out that link. It's pinned in the top comment below in this video. Peace out.